morning everyone uh, welcome to tech and talk today we are going to uh, use xcs so what is xcs uh, let's see if you go to access dash uh, http.com it is from its page http client for browser and node.js uh, which means we can use it on front end uh, even with javascript or any other framework like angular or react and we can also use in the back end uh, in the in the node JS, js application so that was the introduction uh, so today we are going to use for the you know very basic uh, level we are going to use with javascript uh, for that one i already have composed a template let me open this one so you can see that it's a plain html uh, nothing fancy inside here uh, just one thing we have included uh, axios from a uh, cdn right so if you go to the same uh, website okay here and you go to get started here are a couple of cdn options uh, so you can use any of those uh, it's it's you know it's useful when you have uh, you know plain html base uh, application or pages where you don't have any you know server to host your javascript or you don't want to host you know download and you know a host locally so that was for um, setup perspective and you can see this is uh, the the page how it looks like so currently i have integrated this one in the ias server the same html page so as soon as we do any changes in this page can be visible on this uh, ui so let's get back to this uh, view so uh, now from axis point of view we need an api so for that one i already have uh, used uh, this you know example or you know mock api uh, where i can get the uh, to do items and i can set the limit as well so i can when i click on send with this url i can get five to do items so let's let's utilize this one so i already have created a const uh, base url variable here so i think let's get started and let's try to add on the top of that one right so what we next need to do is we basically want to call a get api right so and then do that api will get us back those five items right so let me write that one const response response uh, is equal to um xcs dot get and we will be using string interpolation here base url and we will be typing to those and we will you know pass that the limit is equal to five like this and let's close this here so we, we can't call it directly this way we have to you know uh, implement the callback as well right for that one i will be utilizing dot then callback function and here i will get a response let's say it's an api response and we will be using an arrow function here and at this point let's say we want to return the data from that response so for that one we will be doing return response api response dot data right and uh, now next what we need to do is we actually uh need to write a function right let's say it's a const uh, get to do list and we will be calling uh our function let's let's name it like 
okay we already have named it so we just need to call it this way right and at that point we just need to close the curly braces right so i think we can we can now call that to do list get to do list uh, function for that one let's call it get to do list straight away and let's see how this response comes from the backend uh, to double check the response let's console log this response uh, api response to see if we are getting the results or not all right so let me press control f5 okay now you can see that a call is been sent and uh, we are getting that data from the api right and there are a couple of other you know uh, attributes coming from the api as well yeah just to check that let's put a debugger here in the source app.js we can do it like this and if we go to refresh we can you know hover over that api response we can see that uh, all the you know uh, api call is returning response with all those properties so okay we we have made a get api call through xcs and we got the response now we need to show that on the ui so for that part let's quickly manipulate the ui and for that one what we can do is uh, we simply what we can do is all right so what we can do is we just we don't need to you know uh, return from here let's say we create a variable api response data or the best way could be we can simply do this const data from api response like this one okay and uh next we can do is we can get the another list object from the ui element from the ui and put the li element inside it right so for that one what we can do uh we can go for data dot for each and uh, single to do this way and we can go with this flow and uh, just to access the another list we can say const an ul element is equal to document dot select query selector and we will be queuing the ul because we only have one ul element so we can get it straight away and after that what we can do is we just put okay uh, Cause we need to create a li element. Uh, element is equal to document dot create element, and let's name it li. And uh, li element dot inner text would be the single to do dot title right okay and we again need to pass that li element inside that 
ul element dot append i guess append would work li mm, element right let's see how it works and how it can be displayed on the ui okay we already had debugger so let's debug those lines so we are getting data we are getting the ul elements okay so now you can see that we have all those um to do items coming from the api and we can show them on the ui so this is how we can use xcs to get api calls right to use for the api calls so this is just a simple javascript example ju just to establish a base uh, so plan is we will be covering all the you know other uh, three types of rest api calls which is post put and delete so once done we will be then uh, refactor this code we will be we will be implementing a wrapper access wrapper uh, to to you know um manage the code and use the best practices after that we will be going to angular and react and view side to how the access can be utilized on those frameworks so that was all from today's uh video uh for any question or queries post in the comments have a great day bye